Jane Goodall calls for global ban on wildlife trade and end to destructive and greedy period of human history. Why am I always surprised to learn that she is still alive? Destructive and greedy period of human history. But that's all of human history. Joe Exotic, that bitch Jane Goodall, edit, the person who gave me gold is gayer than a $3 bill. But we also have to remember that some of these epidemics have started with viruses jumping from domestic animals in awful intensive farms, where the conditions are horrendous, with crowding and poor hygiene. It's not just wildlife, it's the way that we treat our domestic animals, too. I'm afraid nothing at all is going to change in that respect. Environmentalists told The Independent last month that the coronavirus would not be the last pandemic to wreak havoc on humanity if we continue to ignore links between infectious diseases and destruction of the natural world. Zoonotic diseases, those transmitted from animals to humans, cause 2. 5 billion cases of human illness and 2. 7 million deaths each year around the world, according to the National Institutes of Health. The spread of diseases such as HIV, Ebola, SARS, MERS, and Zika are also believed to have originated in animals. Dr. Goodall, along with fellow activists and the UN's Acting Executive Secretary on Biological Diversity, Elizabeth Marumamruma, are calling for restrictions on wildlife trafficking and the sale of live animals at wet markets. The coronavirus outbreak is believed to have originated at such a market in Wuhan, China, where wild animals were sold, and made the jump to humans from animals kept in close proximity. As we destroy the environment, animals are living in smaller and smaller spaces, and viruses are transferring from one animal to another, Dr. Goodall says. Then there's wildlife trafficking and the handling of wild animals. They are kept crowded together with people in the meat markets. Not just in China, but across many parts of Asia and also with the bush meat trade in Africa. This is where a virus gets the opportunity to jump from animals into people, and that's what happened with COVID-19. The awful thing is that this has been predicted. People knew it was coming, they talked about it but nobody did anything. She adds, we have moved into this destructive and greedy period of human history where we are destroying the environment and putting economic growth ahead of environmental protections, even though we are thus destroying the future for our own children. Now we see this resulting in this current pandemic, which is having a horrific effect on the planet. Dr. Goodall says she hopes the pandemic will inspire international action. I'm hoping that governments around the world will cooperate with the facts and that there will be a global ban on all of these markets, trafficking and eating of wildlife. But we also have to remember that some of these epidemics have started with viruses jumping from domestic animals in awful intensive farms, where the conditions are horrendous, with crowding and poor hygiene. It's not just wildlife, it's the way that we treat our domestic animals, too. Science has now admitted what as a little girl I learned from my dog. Animals, like us, are sentient. They can feel fear and despair. They have personalities and are amazingly intelligent. When we talk about wildlife trafficking, we just think, oh, that's wildlife. But it's millions of individuals who can suffer, feel pain and despair. We need to respect the natural world. We can't go on and on taking natural resources for economic development on a planet with finite natural resources. If we go on treating animals the way that we are, that is going to hit back on us, as it has. In an op-ed this week, Dr. Goodall wrote, This is a global trade, and every country and individual must do its part to create more comprehensive legislation to protect wildlife, and illegal trafficking, ban trafficking across national borders, and ban sales, especially online. And we must fight corruption that allows these activities to continue even when they are banned or illegal. Looks like Jane just got Netflix. Everyone should also know that Jane Goodall is fighting against the primate pet trade. The posting of primate pet videos on social media and Reddit is destructive because it promotes primate pet ownership. Please help keep primate pet videos off Reddit. God, we need more politicians with a background in environmental issues or at least politicians willing to listen to top environmental advocates. Once we fuck up the planet, 
that's it. No amount of money could save us, breaking news. She calls again for something she has been calling for her whole career. Jane Goodall is more right than I am. Give her what she needs. I can't imagine owning a tiger is beneficial. I feel so lucky to have met this woman. Once in elementary school during a school assembly I was called to come up and she taught me some chimp signs personally and then several years later she was the guest of honor at some seminar where I got to present a school project. She came up to congratulate me on my work and I told her thank you and followed up with the chimp facial expressions of joy, top lip covering teeth, bottom teeth showing. She must have been like 75 at the time so I wasn't sure what kind of reaction I'd get from my expression but she literally jumped up in excitement, the most animated I had seen her all that afternoon. She asked how I knew the expression I had made so I told her about our previous meeting all those years ago and not only did this woman remember that day and my school but she remembered me in my flashing Buzz Lightyear shoes. I certainly don't remember what shoes I was wearing that day but there was something about the way she said it that really makes me believe she remembered me. Truly a trailblazer and just all around great, down to earth human being. I'm not working with chimps, or even animals for that matter, but the memory of how this kick-ass woman made me feel stays with me to this day as I try to inspire and educate children the way she did for me. Imperfect beauty of the thoughtful, mostly non-material, simple humanity of this person makes her someone to aspire to be removed she is a wonderful woman i've had the privilege to meet her and listen to her talks a number of times she's more of what humanity needs she is one of our foremost human beings i aspire to be even a little bit like her does livestock count let's stop all barbaric factory farming as well greedy period in human history like the last 5,000 years, I was lucky enough to see her speak live in NZ. She was the most eloquent, elegant, and well-spoken woman I'd ever met. She captivated the entire crowd. Such a saint. How about end all animal exploitation? I had the pleasure of meeting Jane Goodall almost 20 years ago. She came to our high school and gave a talk on animal testing specifically on primates. She was wonderful, but seemed old and somewhat frail even back then. I'm glad to hear she is still alive and kicking. Can we just add human trafficking to this ticket? Please. I'm begging. Good luck Jane Goodall. We can't even get people to stay at home for their own health and safety and you expect we'll be able to convince rich people to stop being rich and getting even richer. The problem is the animal trade, not specifically wild animals. Remember swine flu? Bird flu? Those came from domesticated livestock, a living legend. I would so love it if this could actually become reality. But of course, consumerism is what drives the world now, and greed will never stop. It's depressing. I love her so much. I live in Alaska, where animals are utilized for food in much of the state because of costs and logistics. Traditional Alaska native lifestyle relies heavily on subsistence. Part of that culture is nothing goes to waste. So many things are made from animal parts, tusks, bones. Which a lot of people use to make artwork, and sell to help provide income to an area where job opportunities are scarce. A lot of places on this planet still need animals for all kinds of reasons. Well-regulated hunting and fishing contribute largely to conservation. There is a way for people to still do this without running species into extinction.